Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 8. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add video motion with the spring effect so you can create this overshoot and bounce animation effect. I'll also show you how to save it as a style preset so you can quickly apply it to other graphics in all of your ScreenFlow videos. First, I'm going to select myself. I'm going to come over here to the third property, Video Motion. I'm going to click this button, Plus Action. It's going to add an action here on my clip. Next, I'm going to click on the effect. I'm going to choose Spring. I'm going to keep this lock checked. I'm also going to check all these scale, position, and rotation. When you add the video motion property, there is no animation. To add animation, just simply select it. What I like to do is drag my playhead to the end. Wherever your playhead is at the end is where the object is going to be when the animation is over. So I want to end right here. So I'm just going to keep it right there. Then I'm going to drag my playhead at the beginning. Where do I want the object to be at the start of the animation? I want to be off screen to the right. So I'm simply going to drag myself over to the right. You can see I'm using the smart guides there to make sure that I stay in a straight line. I'm just going to keep dragging it off until I'm off screen. And as you're building out your animations, there's a handy little preview button here. If I click this, you can see here that I can preview so I can see exactly what's going on here. I'll show you again how to add the animation using the logo layer. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to the video motion tab. I'm going to click plus action. My playhead is at the end, so that means that this is where the logo is going to end after the animation is over. Where I want it to start, I'm going to drag it to the beginning. I want it to start at the top, so I want it to come off screen from the very top. So I'm just going to simply drag up until I can't see the logo anymore. And now when I drag the playhead, it's going to start at the very top. That's where my playhead is. And where my playhead ends, that's where the logo is going to end. To change the settings for your animation, select the video motion property. For damping, I'm going to change this to 2.5. Hit the tab key. I'm going to change this to 0.3, the mass. Now I'm going to change stiffness to 20. I'm going to hit the preview. Now you got that nice smooth coming in effect. Once you get the animation dialed in the way you want it, you can create a style preset. Select the video motion. Come over here to this little cube. Click that. Click on this little plus symbol. We're going to click all of these because we want all these parameters in our preset. We're going to click the plus one more time and we're going to name it. I'm going to click off of it. Now we have a preset that we can apply. It's going to live in your screen flow so you can apply it in any video that you're using. Now I will show you how to apply the preset to the logo layer. I'm going to select it. First I'll click the preview so you can see what it was before. All I need to do is click on the cube. I'm going to click on the overshoot and bounce. And now that same preset that I applied to this layer is applied to the logo layer. I'm going to go back and preview it. Boom. My name is Mike Murphy and that is how you create an overshoot and bounce effect using the video motion properties in ScreenFlow 8. Cheers.